The second question concerns uh, an incident which took place at the Peace for Humanity conference recently uh, in Wembley in the United Kingdom. And part of the program involved uh, representatives of different faith who came on stage and uh, were doing vicar. So th there is uh, questions from some several people who want to know an explanation for this child. Alhamdulillah. This was Peace for Humanity conference and very important item in this conference was, the event was, collective peace prayer. The interfaith collective peace prayer. All people belonging to our faiths and religions, they were invited and they were asked to pray for world peace according to their own religious tradition. And ask, your God, ask God in your supplication so that he may provide the whole mankind and the whole world with peace and security as your own religious tradition allows you. So it was allowed to everyone and finally the Muslims did the same and then after that there was zikr of la ilaha illallah in the end and all people standing there including all people of all faith then finally we ended up on la ilaha illallah and allah allah and qasida murda this was a collective peace prayer the question arises that the people belonging to other faith they came there and they supplicated and they it was not worship item it was just praying item for peace so they supplicated or they prayed for peace for mankind but in their own traditional way according to their own religion and they raised the name of their own God as they used to say. So what is the position according to the Sharia of this act? So this act which we have done and I allowed and I arranged it in London, this is not a Bida Hasana, this is Sunnah. This is not related to the scope of silent. Quran and Sunnah is not silent on it. Rather, there is Holy Prophet Sallallahu own practice on it which establishes that this is permissible through the Sunnah of Holy Prophet There is a Hadith and a very famous event of the history that a very big delegation of the Christians from Najran, 60 people, a delegate of 60 leaders, religious leaders, Christian religious leaders, arrived in Medina from Najran. And they were asked, See, a companion asked Holy Prophet Sallallahu where they should be allowed to stay. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam allowed them to stay in Al-Masjid an nabawi His own mosque of Medina, Al-Masjid an nabawi Al-Sharif, Al-Haram. He allowed them to stay in his mosque. <laughs> so the 60 Christian leaders were allowed to stay there. They stayed there. After that, and it did not happen once. Another time, a very big Christian delegate came from Ethiopia, Abyssinia, and Holy Prophet allowed them also to stay in the mosque of Medina, Al Masjid al Nabawi al Sharif, and they were served the food and all services there. So during their stay, the delegate of Najran, they asked that their time of worship arrived. They wanted to worship according to their own religion. Companions again came to Holy Prophet to ask Ya Rasulullah, now they want to worship. Knowingly, and everybody should know, that there is no new development in their aqidah, in their faith. After the raising, after the time of Holy Prophet whatever they believe in now, this was their faith in the time of Holy Prophet, the time of the revelation of Holy Quran. Because they believed in Trinity at that time. They believed in God concept of being is God and son of God because these things were rebutted and refuted in Holy Quran. La Salasa. The verses were revealed in the butter of this, this Aqidah. Everything was there in their Aqidah. So they asked, where should we allow them to worship? Because they would worship according to their own religion and their own religious tradition. There is not according to Tawheed. Holy Prophet Although they believe, they say we believe in one God, but their interpretation according to us is not correct. They say one in three and three in one. This is Trinity and unity. We don't accept this definition or this interpretation. So 
companions asked Holy Prophet and Holy Prophet answered, they are allowed to worship according to their own religion in my mosque of Medina. So Holy Prophet allowed them to worship according to their Christian faith and Christian tradition in Al Masjid Al Nabawi Al Sharif. So they prayed there as they used to pray in their own churches. So I think the Wembley Arena and my gathering was never more sacred than Masjid Al Nabawi Al Sharif for Holy Prophet Muhammad. The Holy Prophet allowed them to worship according to their own religion and tradition in the Masjid of Nabawi. So why we as interfaith harmony and showing our solidarity with all faiths of mankind, why we would not allow them to say peace prayer according to their own religious tradition. So this is the Sunnah of Holy Prophet Now your third question. We should keep our hearts, our minds, our lives open without compromising on our basic principles of faith. Without compromising on our principles of faith. But when you get together, so people belonging to any faith and any denomination and any culture, they have to practice their own way. And they have to pray in their own tradition. So this is the correctivity of Islam. And this is the beauty of Islam in diversity. And this has been practiced by Holy Prophet That's why in Medina when Holy Prophet wrote the document, the constitution of Medina, he wrote down in article 28, he wrote down, Inna Yehuda Bani Of, Ummatum Ma'al Mu'mineen. The Jews of Bani Of today, along with the Muslims, comprise and constitute a single Ummah and nation. But they would be practicing their religion and we would practice our religion. So everybody is free to practice his own religion, we can't stop. La ikra din. When you get together, this is the demonstration of freedom, of religion and expression given by Almighty God and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.